Could this be it? Has Taylor finally found someone she's willing to walk down the aisle with? 2024's all about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, better known as the hottest celebrity couple in town. Unlike all of her other exes, Travis earned himself a feature on Karma. He's the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to her. Honestly, name another couple that was more meant to be than them. We'll wait, and odds are we'd be waiting for a hot minute. All that being said, how did the two find their way to one another? Now, that's something that people don't talk about enough. Hey, we're just glad they found each other. Still, it wouldn't hurt the rest of us to get in on how to find your perfect partner. Who played Cupid here? Who liked who first? Let's find out. And before anyone jumps the gun, the two didn't meet on a dating app. Guess Travis didn't take a page out of old Jason's playbook for finding love. He won't let me lie about this. We met on Tinder. Jason, 27. The Swift Kelsey story actually started way, way back in 2016. That was when Travis literally manifested the girl of his dreams. Our guy played a game of Kiss Mary Kill during an online interview, and he had three celebrities to go with Ariana Grande, Katy Perry, and of course, Taylor Swift. Unfortunately, Ariana was gone too soon. It was between Katy and Taylor, and Travis was sweating. Check out what he had to say about his future special someone. Then uh, Taylor Swift would be the kiss. But wait, that's not all. We've dug deep into the archives for this one. Let's hear how Travis described his perfect woman. What kind of girl are you looking for? I need confidence um, that she can uh, be in such a, a limelight uh, athlete is in. Right. Uh, on top of that, be able to um, be respectful, polite, and classy. Sounds an awful lot like a certain someone we know, doesn't it? Fast forward to 2023, and on the New Heights podcast with Travis and Jason, the Chiefs player revealed something very, very juicy. Jason subtly mentioned how Travis attended Taylor's concert when she played at Arrowhead Stadium. Trav then said that the only reason he went was to give her a bracelet that he made. What was on it? Oh, just his phone number. Safe to say Jason knew what his brother was up to. Wouldn't that have been a great start? Well, hate to break it to you guys, but he never actually got the chance to give it to her. Uh, she doesn't talk before or after her shows because oh. she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings. So I was a little butthurt I didn't get to hand her uh, one of the bracelets I made for her. You made her a bracelet? Yeah. Yeah, no, he was pretty upset about that too. We love a man who knows what he wants and goes after it though. You see, Kelsey was determined to at least have a conversation with Taylor. Just once, that's all he was asking for. Our guy was pretty confident about himself. Good for him. So he pulled some strings and got in touch with the people close to her. Somehow he even contacted her family. Boy, was he not backing down. No, seriously, Travis went all in on his quest to find true love. So while performing at Arrowhead, the management converted the arena's locker room as a dressing room for Taylor. It was the same room that the Chiefs used. How do we know this? Because Taylor's cousins posted a picture while they were there. You can't make this up. They posed right in front of Kelsey's locker. So Travis found a way to get a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Taylor, and betcha the locker was a real icebreaker. Before anyone knew it, Travis scored the touchdown of a lifetime. It was also around this time that fans started noticing a few hints that Taylor was seeing someone new, fresh off her breakup with Joe Alwyn. Apart from a few photos of them getting cozy, fans pointed out something pretty interesting when Taylor was in New York City. So she was wearing a Foundry's Forever and Always a Pair pendant, and it was beautiful, but it was also a major clue. Fans kind of think Taylor wanted fans to put two and two together. Swifties cracked their knuckles and started digging. Turns out the opal teardrop stone in it was actually Kelsey's birthstone. To those who don't follow astrology, he's a Libra, and this is what the pendant looked like. Word got out pretty fast, but Taylor reportedly wanted to keep things low-key. She was scared of jinxing it while it was still so new. Can't blame the girl. Even Jason admitted he couldn't comment on their relationship and that his brother was just having fun. But once a rumor is out there, backed by clear evidence, it's going to get everyone talking. The fact that Taylor attended almost every Chiefs game only gave fans more reason to believe she'd found someone special. After weeks of avoiding rumors and trying to hide their relationship, Kelsey and Swift finally made things official. Surprise, surprise, they instantly became everyone's new favorite couple. Remember how Travis was trying to find someone close to Taylor to get himself a conversation with the global icon? Well, fans wanted to thank whoever was responsible too. A lot of people started guessing who played Cupid in this love story. 
One of the first faces on everyone's news feeds was Miles Teller, since both Swift and Kelsey were besties with him. In 2022, Travis and Patrick Mahomes played golf with him, while in 2021, Teller starred in Swift's I Bet You Think About Me music video. I will never forget the first time that I met you. Was this man Kelsey's one-way ticket to finding love? Another interesting discovery was the fact that Cameron Saunders, one of Taylor's backup dancers, has a brother who played with the Chiefs up until 2022. And yes, he played alongside Travis, too. Just when Swifties were about to crack the code, an image of Jason Sudeikis playing Uno with Taylor hit the internet. It was back to the drawing board. Now, everyone knows that the actor is a major Chiefs fan. And being a celebrity who starred in one of the biggest Apple dramas today, Ted Lasso, he probably gets VIP passes for these games. Do the math yourself. Jason was seen having a quick chat with Kelsey during one of his games, and then he's playing a card game with Taylor. Put two and two together, people! Another possible candidate for Cupid was none other than Taylor's BFF, Selena Gomez. Now, Selena was part of the Big Slick 2019 softball game. And guess who was there, too? Actress and platinum performing artist, Selena Gomez! Right before the camera cuts, you can see him standing a couple of feet from her. It's Travis Kelsey! Who knows, maybe the two shared a conversation later after the match and talked about the person they both admire so dearly. But these were all just suspicions, assumptions, and rumors. The only person who confirmed their role in the love story was Aaron Andrews. You're probably wondering, who? Aaron's an NFL broadcaster who put in a good word for Travis to Taylor, essentially the best wingwoman ever to exist. She told Seth Meyers about her playing Cupid. She also claimed that Taylor needed a guy like Kelsey after all these years and was glad she got to play such a huge role in getting them together. Um, Travis was very open about not getting to meet her and so we were just being really candid because we love him, we're good friends of his and we just were like, Taylor, date this guy. She even released an apparel line that Swift wore to one of Kelsey's games. Everyone say, thank you, Aaron. Ever since then, these two have never left each other's sight. Taylor attends his games, Travis attends her concerts. Perfectly balanced, as it should be. They also have some of the best moments at these events. Whether it's celebrating a point for the Chiefs or freaking out over Travis getting hurt, it just goes to show how much she cares about the guy. Meanwhile, over on the Eras tour front, Travis could be seen vibing in the corner to his partner's songs. Just look at this moment from when Taylor switched up the lyrics to Karma. No wonder fans think that this is the love story she's been waiting for all her life. When the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl, Swift and Kelsey were seen dancing together at a party to Marshmello's remix of You Belong With Me. Speaking of the Super Bowl, the spotlight is completely on Travis now. The viewership in Super Bowl 57 was 123.4 million viewers, which was a 7% increase from the previous year. Guess you can say this is the Swifty effect. After his games, Travis is always asked about the new deets in his love life. And this is him thinking out loud about why everyone found his relationship so fascinating. The values that we stand for and just, uh, you know, who we are as people. We, uh, we love to uh, shine light on others, shine light around the people that, that, that help and support us. So that pretty much wraps up how they met and how their relationship is turning out. But what's next? Does Trav plan on popping the big question and breaking the internet? Well, his teammates sure hope so. Harrison Butker hopes they tie the knot. This guy, like the rest of us, thinks Taylor's perfect for him. Great things about her, and I, and I hope they, you know, as I said at Georgia Tech, I hope they, uh, you know, get married and, and start a family. That's right. With the Super Bowl over and time off from the Eras tour, the couple was spotted vacationing in the Bahamas. A few days before that, they were seen spending quality time in Los Angeles at the Bird Street Club. If anything, it's safe to say that these two are the definition of a power couple. You have the pop music sensation and a three-time Super Bowl winner. This is the kind of couple you'd see in a movie. The best part? To Taylor, it definitely feels like one. Fans have shared their endless support for them because she genuinely looks like she's the happiest woman alive right now. The only thing that's missing is a ring on her finger. Well, Travis, there's only one song that should be playing in the background when you do. Anything else is completely unacceptable. So what do you think is the end game for these two? 
Will they live happily ever after, or is it a ticking time bomb? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to hear Taylor spill the deets on her first date with Travis, then this is the next video that you need to watch.